Hey guys, Command Block Gamer here, and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we are going to be looking at the test for command. This is a command that can get really confusing, and I have four different ways to use it. One is the radius. This will measure around the command block. Standing in this red, it will not get the player will not get detected. And then when you step in the green, he will. Because this is a radius of three. So three blocks including the command block. One, two, three. So standing here, I will get detected. Then I go off and I don't. The same thing works for height. When I'm standing on this block, it doesn't get detected. Then I delete it. And it is three blocks. So it gives an output with the comparator. Let's look at the second. This is for a certain coordinate so here I have selected this area and I said that when the player comes here basically this will give an output one of the things that a lot of people forget is to put the radius in here if you don't have the radius it will detect any, the player from any spot in the world so it is very important to remember to add that in and now you will only get detected again when you're standing there the next I set up is this command it executes the player to basically test them for when they're standing on top of planks and this is good for maps the player can get like effects see when I walk on this I get jump boost and just to prove to you guys that I'm not using a command for testing out a coordinate, I'll place it somewhere random like here, and I get the jump boost effect. I get it for one second um, every time I step on the planks. And the last one is for testing on only one coordinate. So I don't get te I don't get an output until I am standing somewhere and I break a block and fall in. This would be good for parkour maps if you fall so you can reset the player back to the beginning of the area. The way that this happens is you use execution commands and it tests for the player and you have to use these DX which are like secondary sort of but this sort of tricks it into letting you being able to test for a player in only one command. If I were to change this to Z, what coordinate am I at in Z? So I am at, um, so let's change this to negative 274 and then when I am standing in that coordinate it will get detected the same thing goes for X and yeah these are the commands that I have put here I hope you can put these to good use, and also make sure to subscribe and like the video if you haven't already, and have yourselves a great day. Bye.